So these are the instruments that we use inside and to see what's happening inside, this is a laparoscope. So you can see that there's a light channel here so we can transmit the light from here and also the image is coming through this. So what we do is that we attach a light source here then you can see that light source, you can see light at the end of the scope here. So Skola? Yes, the correct. How do we assemble this? Show me how you do it. So first of all, we put the light cable here. You can see the light here now. You can see the light here. Then we put the camera to the lens. So there you go. So after you put the light cable and the camera, you can see what is good at the camera view. So scope magnifies uh, things many times. Can you see how small this is and how magnified this is? We have a 4K system here which is highly magnified and very accurate in the way you can see things. So by using this, our view of what's inside is highly magnified and therefore we can do very precise surgery inside. I can see in individual vessels very clearly so that the risk of damaging structures and also blood vessels is minimized. When we do an operation, we will introduce the camera into the patient and then the assistant will hold the camera will direct the point of interest so there will be two other ports introducing the instrument here and here and then the camera will be looking at that so we can do the operation inside like this therefore by, by using three small incisions we do a um, quite complex operations inside the abdominal chest and then once we're done we pull out the instruments and pull out the port and then we have left with three little dots that we use glue to cover the skin this has big advantages over big incisions in that the trauma to the body and therefore pain is minimized, the recovery is much faster, the long-term effect of scarring and so on is much, much less compared to open surgery.